Hey, I'm back. It's Limo Jack. Today I'm going to help you set up your Logitech G29 or your Logitech G920. The G29 is for PS4. The G920 is for Xbox, and that's the one I have. Um, if you ever noticed, it uses all 900 degrees. Everyone says, when I looked it up online, it says download the software, and I did, but it never worked. So my buddy Stardust showed me how to set it up so you can only use however degrees of rotation that you want on your wheel so what you're going to do is hit start you're going to type in game comes up with control panel sometimes i see other ones but make sure you click on the one that has the wheel on it it comes up with your game controller see logic check g29 you're going to click properties and this just shows you what your buttons do see 15 shifter everything else wheel you got to click the settings tab up there in the left hand corner. You're going to click calibrate. It comes up with welcome to the device calibration wizard. Click next. Now I want you to find center, center point at this time. What I like to do is turn the wheel all the way one way. You don't have to go both ways, but if you want to, that's up to you. Then you turn it back until you find center. To this, you try and just estimate that it's straight up and down. You're going to click next. Now those little crosshairs up here, I don't know why I keep pointing on my screens, you guys can't see that. So here's the mouse right there, you're going to look at that. So what I do, I like 90 degrees until I get more used to the using the shifter mod and the um, wheel. At the same time, I go 90 degrees. And then you have to go back around because if you don't, this right now would be turning to the right. So you want to make sure that you go same degrees the opposite way. And once you go back, see that's 90, that's straight up and down. That's 90, that's 90. Then you're going to click next. It, ha it asks you to hit your accelerator and your brake and your clutch. Click next and finished. And now you have your wheel. Uh, you're going to click apply, that way make sure it saves the axis that it's set up for. Okay. Okay. Um, that's all. And thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful.